Welcome back. Maui County currently has the highest COVID positivity rate in the islands at 22 percent. Joining us live now to continue the conversation and talk hospitalizations on the Valley Isle is Chief Medical Director for Maui Health, Dr. Michael Shea. And doctor, thank you so much for joining us. So 36 COVID patients are currently hospitalized at Maui Memorial. That's 10 more people than reported yesterday. Can you talk about the situation there right now? Absolutely. Thanks for having me on tonight. Um, yeah, when we left yesterday, we were in the high 20s and uh, we had 10 admissions overnight with uh, with COVID. Um, not all patients are being admitted for COVID symptoms. Some folks are getting admitted with incidental COVID positivity, but being admitted for other reasons. Um, it definitely is, you know, it puts a strain on the, on the day to day operations of the hospital, but we've been prepared. We've been doing this for two years now. Um, we looked ahead weeks ago and saw that we thought another surge was coming. And so along with a lot of the other hospitals, we've arranged for contingency nurses, uh, including FEMA nurses to come and assist us. We received like 13 nurses this week and we have another dozen coming next week. Doctor, do we know how many of these COVID patients in the hospital got their booster? Uh, as of right now, only two of the 36 that we have in-house uh, received a booster, and one of those I know for sure was admitted for non-COVID reasons. So, our, so that tells you something right there. If you get your booster, odds are you won't wind up in the hospital. There's very good data out of the United Kingdom that if you get your booster, you're more than 80% protected. I don't know how much you can actually expand on this, but what can you tell us about the more serious cases? I see that one person is on the ventilator, um, five are in the ICU. You know, are you able to say how they got it or ages or anything like that? I really can't. I can tell you the one person on a ventilator is not on a ventilator because of COVID pneumonia. They're on a ventilator for other reasons. Um, I can tell you that compared to the surge that we had from the Delta variant, people are not as sick. So some people are needing ICU level of care, uh, but overall it's, it's nothing like what we saw before as far as the number of severe illnesses, but the sheer number of positive patients in the community are creating a large number of hospitalizations statewide. And doctor, until recently, Honolulu County had the highest positivity rate, but now Maui does. Why do you think that happened? Well, Honolulu started their surge a little bit before we did, about a week. Um, so that may just be the natural time course. Uh, it may be that folks on Oahu reacted to those high numbers and have been a little bit more careful. And I think we're starting to see that on Maui as well. People are starting to be a little bit more mindful of their activity. You know, talk about the staffing at Maui Memorial. Uh, I know everywhere, virtually everywhere, we're seeing a staffing shortage, but how is staff doing and how is this impacting operations at the hospital? I mean, our staff are so amazing. I can't say enough about them. Uh, everybody, nurses, respiratory therapists, physicians, environmental services, admin. I mean, everybody, everyone's tired. This has been a long, long haul. Um, even though the community may see time between the surges when activity seems to be low, we're still busy at the hospital. So the ability to be able to get FEMA nurses in and bring in contingency nurses to help uh, make it so people haven't had to work as much overtime, uh, but folks are tired, folks are stressed. Uh, so, you know, be gentle with your healthcare workers. If you, if you have friends and family, be kind to them. And we are so appreciative for everything uh, that you folks do. And you were mentioning, uh, what are some of the, the steps that you're taking to maybe help with this shortage? Elective procedures, are there changes happening with that? We've just reached out to our surgeons uh, today, in fact, to start asking them to look at their schedules and see who might be able to be postponed for a little while, just to ease some of the burden of admissions to the hospital that aren't necessary. So folks that have urgent surgery will still have surgery, but folks whose surgeries can wait a couple of weeks to allow us to get through this surge, uh, we're asking surgeons to consider postponing them. And doctor, before we let you go, while the seven day average for cases on from Maui County have decreased slightly, do you think the peak has already passed or has it is it coming up soon? It's a really good question. You know, I was on the mayor's press conference earlier this evening and everyone looked at the number today in the 360 ish and we were hopeful. But apparently the, the, the word on the street is that the Department of Health expects to release a number of close to a thousand for Maui tomorrow. So I don't think we've seen our peak yet. Uh, looking at surges in other places like the East Coast or in Europe, I think we've got a few more weeks before we're, we're starting to see the down, downward trend. Okay, hopefully that peak will come soon and we can move mm -hmm. on past this. Thank you very much, Dr. Michael Shea from um, Maui Medical Health Group. Thank you very much.
Thanks for having me on.